The Life of Dart. The epic tale of a very tiny little hummingbird with a gigantic head and bulging eyes. That is not very nice. Bugger, let me try that again. This is the epic tale of one very cute and very tiny little hummingbird eating, pooping and generally having a whale of a time. I suppose that's a little better then? I suppose it will have to do. His name is Dart Jr., and he lives with his old mum, Mrs. Dart. Actually, Mrs. Dart is probably not that old. Start at the beginning, and please change that stupid background. You have absolutely no style. You've got to be kidding. Well, it really all started with the birds and the bees. But we could not possibly show such explicit footage, so we'll pick up the story shortly after that episode. Mrs. Dart built a beautiful little nest that resembles a little round teacup without an ear. Bizarrely, she uses spider webs to glue all her building materials together. Hummingbird males are a real bunch of tossers, leaving all the work to the gals. It's really a shame. The nest is really tiny. It measures less than 4 centimeters across, that is a diameter of about 1.5 inches. Isn't that adorable? Not wanting to put too many eggs in one basket, Mrs. Dart decided to lay only two eggs. Sadly, Dart's brother Spike did not survive. Spike's egg was taken during the night by a predator. And so it happened that Dart Jr. hatched on May 8, 2012. Cute little chap, although not looking much different from a little ball of snot at this point if you don't mind my saying so. Really? You cannot be serious. At this delicate stage in his life, what Dart Jr. needs is food. And lots of it. Because of his extremely high metabolism, Mrs. Dart has to feed Dart every 15 to 20 minutes during the day. Mrs. Dart feeds him a mixture of nectar and tiny insects and spiders. If Dart has been good, Mrs. Dart may also throw in an after-dinner mint or some ice cream. That's rubbish. She collects the food in her crop and regurgitates the mixture directly into Dart's stomach. The insects and spiders provide the protein that Dart needs to grow strong. The little fellow grows at an incredible rate. Dart will leave the nest to Mia three weeks after he was born. Just look at those cute little wings. Perhaps we should have a closer look. Because Dart initially do not have any feathers, he can't regulate his own body temperature. That is why Mrs. Dart initially spends most of her time sitting on the nest, keeping little Dart warm. Sometimes she also spreads herself out over the nest like a little parasol, to shield Dart against the hot sun. Mrs. Dart does not have much time to herself. When she leaves the nest, it is usually to gather food for Dart Jr., or to find nectar to keep her own little engine going. Mr. and Mrs. Dart are impressive little flying machines, they can flap their wings between 12 and 80 times per second. Giving my absolute best, I managed to flap my own arms only once every two seconds. I thought that would put things nicely in perspective. Really? You cannot be serious. When she's gathered enough grub, Mrs. Dart heads back to an expectant youngster, with her little bag of delicacies. Could you believe it? His stomach is actually bigger than his eyes.
his head bobs up and down, like a little piston. The procedure seems rather violent, but I can assure you that Dart suffers no harm. Nest etiquette is crucial. The first house rule, no bodies in the nest, Dart has to lift out his little bum over the rim of the nest and give it his best shot. Once in a blue moon, Mrs. Dart takes a break from nest duty. She uses this time, to freshen up, and groom her feathers. There's always life after raising the babies, and a hummingbird female may still need to turn some heads later on. That was so pretty. She is such a lady. I don't like to admit it, but she almost had me in tears. You were sobbing like a girl. Whatever you say, dear. Anyway, this brings us to the final week. Over the next seven days, Dart will come of age, and leave the nest for good. In honor of Dart, I thought it'd be fun to structure the rest of the video in the form of a countdown to Dart's coming of age.
Eye of the tiger is the cream of the crop Rising up to the challenge of our rivals As the last That's known survivor stalks his prey in the night And he's watching us all in the eye Mum, I was wondering, could I stay another day? Or two? Or three? It's just, I don't think I'm ready to face my responsibilities just yet. Please Mum, pretty please. My poor little baby. All right, but only three more days. No more. Mommy loves you. Here's your clothes and your shoes, hear the words I said Get up now, get up and make your bed Are you hot, are you cold, are you wearing that? Where's your books and your lunch and your homework at? Grab your coat and your gloves and your scarf and hat Don't forget, you gotta feed the cat Eat your breakfast, the experts tell us It's the most important meal of all Take your vitamins so you will grow up one day to be big and tough Cause remember the orthodontist will be seeing you at three two days Don't forget your piano lesson is this afternoon So you must play, don't shovel, choose lovely, but hurry The bus is here, be careful, come back here Did you wash behind your ears? Play outside, don't play rough. Would you just play fair? Be polite, make a friend. Don't forget to share. Work it out. Wait your turn. Never take a dare. Get along. Don't make me come down there. Clean your room. Fold your clothes. Put your stuff away. Make a bed. Do it now. Do we have all day? Were you born in a barn? Would you like some hay? Can you even hear a word I say? Answer the phone. Get off the phone. Don't sit so close. Turn it down. No texting at the table. No more computer time tonight. Your iPods, my iPod. If you don't listen up, where you going and with whom? Time do you think you're coming home? Say thank you, please excuse me, makes you welcome everywhere you roam. You'll appreciate my wisdom someday when you're older and you're grown. Can't wait till you have a couple little children of your own. You'll thank me for the counsel I gave you so willingly. But right now, I thank you not to roll your eyes at me. Close your mouth when you chew. We'd appreciate. Take a bite, maybe two of the stuff you hate. Use your fork, do not burp, or I'll set you straight. Eat the food I put up on your plate. Get an A, get the door, don't get smart with me. Get a grip, get in here on count, two, three. Get a job, get a life, get a PhD, get a ghost. I don't care if started. You're grounded until you're 36. Get your story straight and tell the truth for once, for heaven's sake. I bet he won't leave tonight. Why don't we take a quick filming break? Great idea. We can quickly watch the season finale of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> 